One of the many applications of analyzing two quantitative data sets in statistics is predicting an outcome based on our linear model. Now, LSRL in this particular chapter is the least square regression line, which is a formula that we use, or in statistics, we call it a linear model that would predict the value of y given x, wherein y is equal to a plus bx. Now, in this particular linear model, or formula, b is our slope, which means the amount by which y is predicted to change when x increases by one unit will be given by this particular value in statistics. And a, which is our y-intercept, is basically the predicted value of y when x is equal to zero. Now, in this particular lesson, we're going to use this linear model in predicting an outcome given an x for the value of y. Now, in this particular example, we collected two quantitative data sets for the shoe size of men and their height in inches. Now, we have here 10 samples, and we're going to use the quantitative data sets in this particular experiment, wherein the shoe size of men will be our explanatory variable, and the height in inches of these men will be our response variable. Now, in this particular data set, we're able to produce a statistical model or linear model given by the formula y hat is equal to a plus bx, where a is your y-intercept, your b is your slope, your x is the shoe size, and the y-hat is your predicted height in inches of the men using this formula or linear model. Now, after using the calculator or technology, we're able to produce the value of a and b, which is 53.24 for the y-intercept and 1.65 for our slope. Now, how are we going to use the linear model in predicting an outcome? Here's an example. Let's say Sam's predicted height, or we're interested to find out Sam's predicted height when his shoe size is 9.5. Now, using our linear model based out of the 10 samples that we have here, we'll be able to approximate the value of Sam's height using our linear model. So we have here y hat is equal to 53.24 plus 1.65 times his shoe size of 9.5. And by simplifying or evaluating this equation, y hat is equal to 68.92 inches. So based on our linear model, Sam is expected to be about 69 inches tall given his shoe size is 9.5. Now, how are we going to uh, make sure that this particular prediction is accurate? Well, we still don't know at this point in time, but what we know is that we are using this linear model to be able to predict a person's or a man's height using their shoe size. Now, how are we going to find the value of A and B using our calculator? Now, let's use this second example as our experiment in finding the value of A and B in our calculator. We're going to use the same data set that we used um, in our previous lesson, wherein we used EV as the average number of points scored per game, and RV as the number of wins for each of the 12 teams for this South Eastern Conference football or college football game. Now, to be able to uh, find A and B, we will use our TI-84, and you will see the data sets that we have here right now, and we're going to use list 1 for our EV and list 2 for our RV. And by using the calculator, all you need to do is go to stat, go to edit, and plug in all the values of uh, the explanatory variable for our list 1 and the response variable for our list 2. Now to find A and B, all you need to do is go to stat and push 8 for linear regression. And plug in the value for list 1 and list 2 by second function L1, comma, second function list 2. And then push enter. 
Now the calculator will automatically generate the value of A, which is the y-intercept of our linear model, and B, which is our slope, for our linear model. Now this is now our value of A and our value of B, and plugging it into our linear model, which is given by y hat equals A plus Bx, we can now say that our predicted number of wins, which is our response variable, is equal to negative 3.7506 plus 0 0.4372 times the number of points. This is now our linear model, which is based out of the samples that we used in our graphing calculator, or for our graphing calculator, and now we can predict the value of y given the value of x, which is the number of points. Now, in interpreting the slope and the y-intercept using the definition that I've given you from the previous slide, if we're going to interpret the slope, which is 0.4372 in the context of the problem, we would say that for every increase of the average number of points scored per game, the team's predicted number of wins is increased by this particular value, which is 0.4372. And that is how we interpret the slope. And to interpret the y-intercept with no recorded score in a game, which is your x number of points per game, the predicted number of wins would be negative 3 0.7506. And that is how we use the calculator to generate A and B, or the slope and the y-intercept, and also on how to interpret the slope and how to interpret the y-intercept in the context of the problem.